Hey folks, welcome to Consac. Today we will learn about ratio call option trading strategy. What is the ratio spread? We will understand that how it is constructed and what is the best time to actually practice something like ratio spread is something what we will learn in today's video. So do check out the video till the very end. To start off with, why we need something like ratio is let me just take you to option chain tool in our application. The link would be there in the description and also here in the ICA, you can navigate easily and access the option chain. It is absolutely free of cost for everyone. The option chain too. Only thing you need to do is just log in to the application and just sign up. So now 19700, the theta is 13.5. That means if I am holding this option for one additional day and if everything in the market remain constant, 13.5 rupees is the theta decay what I will pay over here. Okay. Now, if I just show you 27 July option, what is the theta decay? <clears throat> the theta decay is 6.5, right? 6.4 to be precise. Now, what does that tell? That tells me that uh, the theta decay for uh, two different expiries would be different. Similarly, the theta decay as we move closer to the expiry date, it will start picking up the pace. More closer we are to the expiry date, more the theta decay will be. Far off we are from the expiry day, faster the theta decay will be. So now for that, if I just construct a strategy, so let me just take you to architect tool now. Again, you can use options architect. You can build your strategy, analyze them and also execute from uh, Quantsap itself with your favorite brokers. We have four to five brokers uh, in there in the application. So now let's say I'm buying a call option. Okay. Right now the theta may not be uh, decaying at a very fast pace, but if I go on uh, Wednesday or Tuesday later off, then what will happen is the theta will start decaying very, very fast. Now, how much I am paying to theta? 674. So it is positional theta, right? It is of the entire strategy as well. Now the problem over here is if I hold this strategy, let's say for uh, two days now, and if the market remains where it is, Hey traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. I am losing 1850 rupees just to theta. Nothing is happening. I'm not moving around the IV. The market is not moving. But if this is the scenario two days from here, which is if the market remains at 19,706, 1850 rupees is the loss I will make to theta only on one lot basis. Even if market goes up marginally, 19,770, still I will be at my break even, I will not be making a significant amount from there. So whenever the theta decay is fast, one thing that we do is we go ahead and sell a call option as well the OTM strike price. So let's say I'm selling a 1900 strike price call option. Now this will co be converted into a bull call spread. What is this? Over here you are, uh, you know, hedged at all given points. You are not facing an undefined loss, but at the same time, you are not making a significant profit. Plus, if you just see the strategy, if market goes down from here, you are making a 3600 rupees of loss. If market goes positive from here till the level that you have sold a leg, Till that point, you will make a max profit of 6,350. Now, what you can do is you can add more quantities into this by selling more, okay, and converting this strategy into a ratio. Now, if you see, even if the market goes down from here, your loss is reduced significantly. Over here as well, you are getting a decent amount of return, which is at maximum you are going to make roughly around 6,000. Right? And if I just show you Greeks, the positional, so now if you see as of now, Considering the theta decay is low, still it is giving you a positive theta inflow, which is 27 rupees. As you move a bit closer to the expiry and the theta decay, if the moment it increases, you will get more and more theta inflow. And maybe this might go to even a bigger number. So it's simple. The reason of ratio spread is to monetize the expiries. So what I generally have observed is that ratio spreads, when we are closer to the expiry, they turn out to be good. It's it's basically what I have seen is they start to give you more theta decay returns. It's basically simple that more faster the theta decay, more better the strategy would be. Why? Because you are net selling an additional leg, which is of 19,900 call option in this scenario. You have bought one and you have sold two. 
Now what you need to do is, so this, see this thing as an undefined loss. So generally what I do is, I generally keep it hedged at all given points. I don't like to take an undefined loss. So I'm keeping it hedged at all given points. So I'm buying a additional call option, which is out of the money. Now, even if the market remains here, right, still I am making money. So what is my break even till expiry 19,762, say like a 20,38. So roughly a 300 points movement on the upside if happens, if market remains in that 300 points range towards upside, I am covered with this strategy. And let's say that if something doesn't happen uh, as I planned out, then no worries about that. I'm not going to lose a big chunk over here. Plus the, be the best part about long haul butterfly is over ratio that you are not keeping uh, undefined loss like number one. And number two is because your position is hedged at all given points, your margin would be also reduced and you will eventually get a better ROI. Okay. But this is how typically the ratio spread will look. But in case if you want to uh, modify it to butterfly, which I generally do because it, it is much more safer. It is, it is much more easier to manage that strategy. And apart from that, coming to strike selection of a ratio spread, buying leg is simple. ATM is generally what you will prefer. Selling leg would be whatever your target is. So let's say I'm expecting market to go to 19,900. I'll sell two lots of 19,900. If I'm expecting market to go to uh, 18,000, that is the leg I will sold. Because if you see the peak will happen where you have sold your legs. So let me just delete this. And now let's just add 18,000. Okay. <clears throat> oh, sorry, uh, 20,000. Okay. So let's say this and two legs. Now, if you see where is the peak, the peak is at 20,000. So wherever you sold, sell your legs now, that is the peak what will be formed uh, in your strategy. And that is the zone where you will receive the maximum profit. So this is about the ratio spreads and if you just see Greeks now. So now the moment you move closer towards the expiry, the theta will start becoming positive and it will give you more and more theta inflow from there as well. And apart from that, you can also convert this strategy as well to a butterfly. Okay. The benefits I already mentioned that it is much more simpler, much more easier to manage these type of strategies wherein everything is hedged. Right, you don't need to go ahead and monitor, uh, go ahead and do a lot of adjustments ratios. Sometimes they may get risky because there is one additional leg which is open. So do check out architect tool. The link would be there in the description and analyze any of your option trading strategies with ease.